Welcome back to the channel. Oh boy, do I have a treat for you today. Well, my last year video, I got roasted quite a lot for my choices, but I'm a little bit more prepared this time. And this tier list that you see right here, right here, is made by me. We're going to talk about best backhands of all time. Before we start, thank you so much for subscribing, for supporting the supporting channel. We are at, well, currently 1,200 subscribers, uh, but still 80% of you have not subscribed, so click that subscribe button for me. Appreciate it. First one is going to be, obviously, GOAT tier of backhands. You know me, as a guru of backhand myself, I love me some good backhands. So we're going to go with GOAT tier backhands. Revolutionary I want to do? A rev revolutionary? The ones that changed the game. The ones that not the best, but they did revolutionize the game. Then we're going to have mid. And I know people online say mid is bad no mid is actually middle like a middle of a pack it's okay and let's have best of the rest let's have four tiers best of the rest best of the rest does not mean it's bad because i all i did was put good players i put the best players with best backhands which is going to compare them to their best abilities best of the rest would be like a cool ass category uh and best of the rest i'm just going to put myself in here this is me <laughs> We're going to put myself in best of the rest because, hey, I do got some backhand on me. You know what I mean? So we're going to put myself best of the rest. I just want to put myself with those guys. At least at least in some kind of rankings, I'll be there. And also, this guy. This is Yi Chi Zhang. One of, well, I played after him, but he also played for Mississippi College uh, table tennis team. He has the most insane backhand of all time. Best backhand in US. Look at this. Boo! So explosive, it's insane. And I like that it's quick, it's to the point, you know? It's just flick, boom, down, flick, that's it. Easy. Easy money. No need for extra stuff. That's insane. <laughs> If you don't know this guy, you probably don't. He's just is American, like Chinese player who's playing in America right now. Yi Chi Zhang, insane. Look at this. <laughs> uh, I feel bad for Alguerri. I, I don't know which which Alguerri brother is. There. I just know that it's him. Insane. So, just out of respect for Yi Chi, I'm gonna put him here. Mid revolutionary, maybe not revolutionary because a lot of the goat status ones gonna be revolutionary. Maybe let's do like fundamental first we got dimitri ofcharov he has a very good backhand his technique is a little bit weird and it's very like short and swing i am not sure where i'm gonna put him in but maybe mid maybe mid because he's gonna be better than a couple of people on this list and definitely doesn't belong with me because he's much better backhand explosive so i think mid i think mid is good i don't think it's disrespectful well obviously everybody's got their own opinion so anything can happen basically that's what i'm trying to say but yeah, I think putting Dima in mid is actually pretty decent. Okay, Darko Jorgic is our next one. And I think Darko has one of the best backhands in the game right now. Darko Jorgic, I mean, it's the era of backhand. Everybody has a good backhand right now. And in order to play today's table tennis, you need to have a backhand. But Darko just so good. Darko's backhand is insanely good. And I think Darko is... We're gonna put him in the fundamental, but I mean he's a good player right now. Like I don't I don't know, GOAT is maybe pushing it, but his backhand is that good. I you might be thinking why why am I putting Darko so high in my tier list? I just rate him that much. I rate him and I think his backhand is one of the best. We also got Fan Jin Dong. And I need to think about how I'm gonna put these in which order. Because I have a clear number one, he's gonna go GOAT tier. Fanjindon, I think, is a good backhand. Fanjindon has one of the best backhands in the game. I think his backhand is much better than his forehand. And I think whenever he plays, whenever he plays, you can clearly notice that he dominates the backhand. Well, he obviously lost to one chicken for zero. Whenever it was backhand to backhand, I feel like Fanjindon is still better. But, hey, one game doesn't doesn't mean anything, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. I believe Fanjindon is go-tier go backhand. His backhand is insane. From Chiquita to far from the table, close to the table... 
killing shots, everything. I think is go tier. We got Harimoto. Think fundamental. Harimoto is pretty good. Harimoto, Harimoto's uh, backhand is very good. It's a little, it's it's like uh, it starts flat and then he closes real like really well, like just visualizing in my head, right? We can obviously watch a video, but I don't want to do that in here, right? So Harimoto's backhand. Do I think it's better than Dima? I think so. That's the only reason. For now, we put him in fundamental and we real reevaluate, reevaluate when we're done. Alexander Karakasevich, he d obviously doesn't. He's not on the level with these guys. Well, he used he used to be very good. His backhand might be a goat here, but if we talk about revolutionary, it would be here, right? I think he's fundamental. I think it may be Darko level, right? Maybe he's not the goat actual goat player, but his backhand was like one of the best. Maybe I'll put him go tier. We'll, we'll see how many people make it go tier. Okay, that's Koki Niva. I think Koki Niva is mid. Got Pe Petro Korbel next. Uh, I think Petro Korbel is fundamental. Doing my research to this, Petro Korbel, Korbel was one of the first ones to actively use uh, Banana Flick. Well, Chikira, I mean. And you just gotta give it to Petro, Petro, Petro Korbel is so nice. Like, I remember like when I was growing up, everybody wanted to have his, his blade. Petro Korbel. Corbel. I don't know. I don't know my criteria for picking pictures, but I wanted to have like a little mix, right? Kalininkos. Did I say right? Krianga, basically. Krianga, go tier. When you think about backends, kind of in the back of your head, you think Krianga. Bro, Broski used his full shoulder. I'm still surprised that his shoulder, shoulder works so well. But he has the most insane backhand I've ever seen. Not only insane technique, but also power and yeah. When you th when you think Krianga, you think backhand. And only by that I think is is goat status. Ah, uh, okay. Well, we'll come to that later. Lin Jin Kung. Uh, I still need to work on names. I think is I think is mid. I've seen a lot of people online saying that he is very like one of the best backhands. Ah, uh, I want to see more. I want to see more. Yeah, I'm not sure about his backhand but he's very don't get me wrong he's very good but maybe even better than some of these guys but i don't know I, I'd, I'd put him in mid and mid doesn't mean bad lin yunju i think he's one of the goats of backhands he's rely too much relied on his backhand but i think his backhand he's he is the best backhand in the game for me today would you put his backhand better than fun jindong oh that's a good question is lin yunju backhand better than fun jindong backhand that's a question. But Lin Yunju definitely his game is definitely built on his backhand. I think he's a go tier backhand. Like he's definitely my favorite backhand right now. Malin basically didn't have a backhand, best of the rest. I just put him here so we can have a best of rest character. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely a forehand heavy guy. Sometimes he could do backhands, but obviously. So we're gonna put him here. Same thing we're gonna do for Rusi Min straight away, so we get him out of the way. Rusi Min, they basically didn't have a backhand, so we're gonna put him here. All right, Malong. I think Malong is like top, top, top of fundam fundamental. I don't think he has a goat tier backhand. He has good enough backhand to compete with these guys because I, I believe he has a goatest of tiers of forehands. Malong. He he has definitely gotten better. Like start of his career, he wasn't really backhand backhand type of guy, but then when Janjike uh, started like dominating the game, I th that's that's where his backhand started to improve and. He definitely fundam like top top fundamental maybe low goat but top fundamental or low goat that's that's where I'll put Malone Michael Mace it's interesting with Michael Mace because yeah I think it's it, it's mid uh, he has a good enough touch and but he just he's more of a like trickster kind of but he's like top form his prime form 2009 his back and was smacking it was the, it was so good uh, so yeah, I think mid tier, uh, he wasn't like on the level with these guys for backhands for sure, but mid tier is good. I think Michael Mays fits the mid tier pretty well. Yun Mizutani, I think best the rest. He is technique kind of weird, and then he would be more of passive kind of backhand style. Obviously, Yun Mizutani is a far from a table kind of guy. Sometimes he, sometimes he can attack for sure. And all these players have good backhands. Like they have very good backhands uh, on every single player. I'm just saying, in comparison to like the best backhands, um, I think Yun Mizutani was a little bit more passive. 
type of gap. So I would put him best of the rest. Obviously, me and Yichi go all the way back, right? Because, you know, but he definitely had more back end than Malin and Russo Ming, you know? Okay, Oh Sang Yung. I hope, hopefully, I say that right. I th when I was a kid, I wanted to have a backhand like him. His backhand was insane. S saying all that, I think he's mid though. I think he's mid though. This would have been a great way to discuss on stream. And maybe we'll do like a load up a stream and talk about all of these guys. But oh Sang Yoon was insane. And maybe watch some highlights. Oh Sang Yoon, like when he was playing Korea national team, Olympics, like 2008 Olympics. I believe he beat Timo Ball in Olympics in that year. His backhand was like, he's like very tall, lanky guy. And his backhand was just ripping through everything. Jorgen Persson. Person? Person? Who? Where did I put him? He had, he's like more of a flat kind of type of guy. But his flat hit was also very good. I still put him mid, I think. I mean, obviously, let me know in the comments. But that's just how I'm thinking right now. He not, he never had like crazy like spin and speed like these guys. But like person's backhand was more of a flat kind of. He had like fundam he very fundamental, but a lot of flat hit in my opinion. Pitchford. I think in my opinion, Pitchford is going f like low fundamental. His wrist, like he has the loosest wrist I've ever seen in my life. And because of that, I'm pretty sure his backhand is like one of the most difficult backhands in the world. I know there's maybe like some better players than him, but I, f I just think, yeah, maybe Ling Jinku may be low. If a lot of people like vouch for his backhand like that, I just I just rate his backhand. That's that's all I'm trying to say. The thing about Samsonov is all around game was insane. From serve from to forehand to backhand, so everything was good. He was ripping that thing from though. But uh, for for him is. It's back more backhand like block or counter. Because I picked those players to be good with backhands. Schlager, I think top of the mid. Schlager had insane backhand, but I think what lets him down is his technique and lack of wrist. Insane touch. But his overall technique was more of a, on a stiff side. But yeah, I think top of the mid. Almost almost fundamental. But does he have better backhand than Samsonov? All right, Timo Ball. Timo Ball is fundamental for me. I think Timo Ball has the perfect technique for a backhand if you are looking for complete control and total spin. You know how Timo Ball's forehand is like funky and you're like, if you're teaching somebody to play table tennis, you don't want Timo Ball's technique. I think backhand is a different, completely different thing. I think backhand, Timo Ball has one of the most beautiful textbook uh techniques of backhand i'm i'm gonna i'm making a video about the art of backhand timo ball has that beautiful swing whereas the most beautiful technique and most i guess correct way of playing backhand i think it's malo yeah okay jan over waldner uh one of the goats of table tennis overall i think he's mid He's more of a block guy. He's not even backhand, meaning backhand loops. That's what I'm trying to say. And he's more of a block guy, he's more of a counter guy. So I think putting him in, mid, in mid is good. Obviously, let me know in the comments. Okay, Wang Hao, because it with Wang Hao is so strange, right? You know, you don't think of him as he's like very balanced type of player, but because he plays penhold and he was really the first one to have active backhand from from the other side right usually they play this way but Wang Hao is a definitely I think he's going to go tier for me I think he's then going in a go tier of backhands for me I think that's the right position for him he was revolutionary in that sense but also his backhand was very good so I think it's a right position for Wang Hao. Not gonna lie. Xu Xing, the showman, I think fundamental. Um, he definitely has a very good backhand. And I mean, all of the people here. You see, we see where I'm putting him in. 
all of the great backends of the game. And Shushin was definitely had one of the best backends, like for, especially for Penhold Flare, far from the table. Yeah. I think he had one of the best ones. I, I'm just, okay. Uh, we're gonna reevaluate after my next one. The absolute GOAT, no question number one is Jan Jike for me. Jan, Jan, Jan Jike backhand is what changed the game to what it is today. Before Jan Jike, it was more of a balanced forehand backhand. Right, because of him, everybody's, everybody's now is backhand freak, I'd say. <laughs> everybody's trying to play backhand, everybody's countering backhand, everybody's always spinning from backhand, everybody's coming over to the forehand side to do a backhand Chikira. So Jan GK just, in my opinion, started this whole backhand mania that we have today. And I think rightfully so, he should be in go tier. I think rightfully so. Go tier, the best backhand I've ever seen in my life. Best backhand, I think, for now, the best backhand in history. If we're gonna rate it, I think Lin Yuju is gonna be second best, maybe. Maybe I'm putting him too early. Everything possible. I think Fangen Don 3, Van Hava 4, Kranga 5. Let's go Karaka Savage 6. Uh, mm. Let's have Malong 7, Shushin 8, Darko 9, Harimoto 10. I think Timo goes here at 11. Corbel would be, he would be a revolutionary, but he'd be last. So Samson of 12, Pitch for 13, Corbel 14, Waldner 15, 16, Schlager. Let's have Lin Jing Kun 17. Now let's do him top of the mid. I, I'm not sure about Lin Jing Kun. Maybe I'll get I'll catch another set of uh, comments uh, about him. So let's have him. What is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, 17. Let's have Oseng Yun 18. Dima 19. Let's have Person here. Let's have Koki Niva here. Let's have Michael Mays here. And then we have Yun Mizutani, Malin, Rusu Min. Let's have Ichi Zhang higher than me. And I'll be last, best of the rest. I think that's a fair list. Obviously, there's some stuff you can you can be it can be changed, and I think it's I think it's okay to argue, right? A lot of a lot of stuff I got wrong in the, my in my last one, especially the Con Li Kui, um part. But I think this is this is a good list. I think this is a good list. Let me know in the comments what you think, and I see you in the next one, and maybe. When we start streaming, we'll do one for forehand. And we'll see who's got the best forehand of all time. Yeah. Let me know in the comments. Like, subscribe. And i see you in the next one. Peace.